G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video I want to talk about a problem I've sort of had. Let's start by running this application and I've been replacing the standard images that I had previously with these black and transparent ones and I haven't quite finished. You can see there's a few, a few here and there that I haven't worked out appropriate images for. But these are images in um, images data module and that has an images collection and in that are uh, all the images and I've done, done worked out quite a few black and white images or white and black and transparent but what happens if I change the theme to a dark theme uh, which I suppose we can do just uh, restart the application Go to settings and come down to Windows Dark. Actually, come right. We have a lot of these <laughs> dark black icons on very dark backgrounds, so they are not very visible. And so I thought I'll just alter these images and make them white for instance and this led me down a rabbit hole and it turned out to be a lot harder than i expected so i have a little test application and i'll just demonstrate things working give color to bitmap and i'll run it without debugging and so here's the original it's quite zoomed in and we can see all the anti-aliasing around the edge of the image and that was all good and I can adjust this. This is a um, DevExpress CX color something or other uh, color picker of some kind and I can choose a different image that one for instance and as you can see it works and all the alpha transparency all works beautifully. It took me quite a while to work out how to do this. This was <laughs> not a trivial exercise. And so what I've got is I've got this function give color to bitmap and what it does is iterates over the um, internals of the bitmap so it uses the scan line property so each each line in a bitmap is basically an array of pixels and I can get that I've had to declare a couple of sort of temporary types so we've got an array of T alpha color. I'm only using 32-bit images. So this, this will work if I throw a 24-bit image into this. It's probably going to fall over in a, a, a nasty uh, <laughs> pile of exceptions. But So I'm passing in a color that I want to colorize the bitmap with. And I'm scraping the RGB values from that color. And effectively, I'm iterating over every pixel. So I'm grabbing the pixel. I'm getting the alpha value from the pixel, which I'm doing in this function. So we can see these get RGB uh, functions, and they basically do a shift right to bring in the various colors uh, to the appropriate location, you have to get the appropriate byte. And so to get the alpha one, I just need to shift, shift right uh, 24, 24 bits. So that's getting the alpha transparency. And if it's completely transparent, then I don't need to do anything because uh, I don't need to alter, alter the color. So if there is something showing through, I reformulate the pixel using the RGB and values by a bunch of shift lefts, you know, summing a bunch of shift lefts basically of the various, various things. So um, this is the recomposing the pixel. Now the thing that took me a long time to work out is I need to use this pre-multiply alpha function and that is in um, UI consts and we can see that it recalculates the RGB values um, based on the uh, alpha. I'm, I'm not quite sure <laughs> exactly how this works but it needs to be done. We need to get a, a pre-multiplied value of, of our pixels apparently. If I uh, comment that out and just grab the pixel directly, 
and run this again. And um, if I do this a little bit, see this this looks fine, although the kind of a little bit white on some of them. Uh, but if I move this around even more, we can see the 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 alpha transparency or the color behind the transparency is not correct. And this took me quite a while to work out, and I couldn't couldn't find much online about it. Um, there were some kind of random posts which kind of hinted at what needed to happen. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I can just undo, I suppose. So uh, adding that in makes things work. And if I go down to the data module create, and we can make all the all the uh, images a horrible green color. Um, oops, I want to run the. Let's run. In fact, I often do that scrolling up and down in here. What? I only need to do is just pick the, the project in, in here rather than double clicking on it. And I, I even have that in my book, Code Faster in Delphi. Uh, <laughs> I still still sometimes sometimes forget to do it. And there we have nice green. And it does all of them as well, even the ones that I haven't yet uh, got around to um, doing. My old images had this drop shadow, which is a bit, uh, bit outdated in its um, design these days. But anyway. So um, if you want to know more about that, um, there is, so I had asked this question on Stack Overflow, which someone has helpfully uh, downvoted, but fortunately, uh, sort of Remy LaBelle, um, if I've pronounced the surname correctly, sort of hinted in the right direction uh, for me. But um, yeah, this, this, this was, working out this function was uh, <laughs> I had many many iterations of this before I was kind of working out uh, what was happening I, the, yeah there was a definitely um, I did not understand transparency I still don't understand transparency but I know a little bit more than I did previously uh, transparent transparency in bitmaps in Delphi and probably Windows in general is um, uh, the, the support for it's not the greatest um, PNG images are, are slightly better uh, in, in their support but yeah, so that's all I wanted to cover in this video. So that you can access the source code for it on that Stack Overflow question. Um, do check out my books, Code Faster in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi, uh, both of which are available now. And you can go to learndelphi.tv to see how you can get those either from uh, Amazon or um, LeanPub. That took me a while to remember. So thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie. I'll see you in a future video.